Hey, let's be right up. I'm all back here with Tales of Symphonia. You might notice I'm in a place that we weren't before, and it's just, it's the same. I'm, I'm in the same city and all. Just, I went over to the inn because it wouldn't, you're not allowed to save here. And I tried to save in the field, but we're actually not permitted to leave. First, we need to meet the king before we can leave. So, there's that. So we've got here, Colette is still entirely dog kickish. Uh, and so we're gonna basically spend this episode trying to explore the rest of the city, because it is massive, and then I guess maybe the king at the end. Well, I guess we'll see how long it takes to explore the city, won't we? <laughs> the hustle and bustle of the city is tiring. You're telling me. I suppose I should expect it from the Imperial City. Yeah... The Imperial City? The only city in the Empire? Welcome! We'll have a room ready for you in just a minute. Please relax and make yourselves comfortable. Oh! You work here? You look like I thought you were kind of with this person who doesn't appear to work here. Hi, welcome to Sancta Cassius. 300 gold. Oh, that's pretty reasonable, actually. Let's hell heck and do that. I've been walking forever! Delightful, thank you. Hi! I finally arrived in Mel Tokyo. Walking from city to city isn't easy. I had to cross a super long bridge and take a really long boat ride. We've all got problems in this life, man. Don't go trying to- Hi! Greetings! You're most welcome here! I know, because I paid money. Wow, you must be really short if you're about if only like a half a head taller than Genus. Sorry, I'm blocking your walking path. Was not my intent to be so rude. There's gotta be a wonder chef in here, surely. Hello! I had a fight with my husband and ran away from my house. That's terrible, I'm sorry. What should I do now? I, I don't know. Find a new husband. Or wife. Or just new place to live, anyway. That's not what I was trying to do. Mom and Dad had a fight and it's been a lot of trouble. I want to go home. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know if it's a good idea to go home if they're fighting all the time. Uh, it's not really my business. I'm just a, just a wizard boy. I don't know anything about this. I'm going to leave. Find a less depressing room. What about this one? Could there be a wonder chef in here? I don't see any funky things. But there must be a wonder chef. It's Mel Tokyo. It's a big place. I refuse to leave this city until we find one wonder chef. I, I can't handle it. There just absolutely has to be something. I'm so bad at finding them, it seems. What? Why are you looking around at everything like you've never been to the city before? Oh, I'm sorry, is this really your first time here? Is that that surprising? What do you think? Well, Tokyo is flamboyant, isn't it? Wasn't really the word I was thinking. Grand. Sprawling. Those came to mind. If you go up from here, you'll find the Elemental Research Laboratory. They say they- there they say- bleh. There they study summon spirits and things related to them. How interesting. But most of the staff are half-elves, so I don't really feel like getting close. Fine, fine, I see it. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Fine. It's fine. I don't, even, don't even care. Not even worry about it. Asshole! Whoa. Oh, the slums have different music. How about that? This area is called the slums. You're weird to come here on purpose. You just introduced me to it, and then told me I was weird to come here as if I already knew what it was? The mood is not happy here. You never know what fortune will bring. Just living today is enough. Well, that's a good... Thought maybe the mood here is brighter than I <laughs> first glance told me. They say you should not fear trouble and work hard when you're young, but it's best to avoid it once you get older. I've caused a lot of work for my wife. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Anything that needs doing? I just came into town and I could use a bit of- Well, I was gonna say money, but I guess maybe that's this isn't the place to go looking for it. That's a lot of bottles! <laughs> I'd heard there was a cute flower seller in here, but I guess it was just a false rumor. <laughs> it seems the slums aren't very safe. I, I was getting actually a bit of a Final Fantasy 7 vibe from this part of the, the town. Kid, don't, don't! Oh god, I thought that kid was just about to plummet straight off the roof. Scared the bejesus out of me. Why is this little lump even here if I can't actually do anything from there? Final Fantasy 7 would have come out before this, right? Yeah, because Final Fantasy 7 was like 98 or something like that. And this is 2003, so that was like. This was only like five years after. Oh my, we don't usually get visitors around here. Say, have you seen my husband anywhere? He's a lazy bum who drinks all day. I don't know, that doesn't really narrow it down. Hey kiddo, I'm happy you didn't jump off a roof and die. This area is off limits. It's my secret base. You can't come in. When you're right, you're right. But if there's a Wonder Chef here, I, I feel like I've got it. Okay, sorry. I didn't mean to intrude upon the sanctity of your base. I just wanted to briefly look for recipes in the filth of your roof. These stairs are extremely steep. There are like 10 and it brings blah up to a roof. Woof. Woof. I'm a traveler with no sense of direction. I got lost and somehow wound up in here. Do you know the way out? Of the slums? Yeah, it's like three roads this away. Sorry, sorry, just wanna get past. I'm pretty sure there's some kind of, some kind of uh, fine. I'm not permitted in anyone's house, which I guess is par for the course with General societal rules. Uh, I shouldn't have gone gambling. 
I love gambling. I got carried away and made a huge bet and lost it all. Well, that's that's what happens when you gamble. <laughs> You're right, you shouldn't have gone gambling. I appreciate that you are aware of this. Uh, there's like something flying around there. I guess it's a bug. Kind of weird that I'm allowed back here if there's nothing over here, which there doesn't appear to be. There are fish swimming around in the... Oh, wait, what? No, wait, what is that? Just one strand of kelp st uh, flowing, flowing through the sewer grate? That's weird. Well, I may be back if the story dictates it, but uh, see ya for now. Oh, wait. Unless there's a wonder chef just behind this tree. There isn't. You say up from here is the elemental research, uh, research laboratory? So I guess that's this, eh? Will we be allowed in? Ooh. This is our where we ultimately want it to be. Oh, I never noticed that, but Genus wears his hair long so that no one can see the length of his ears. That's messed up. Does rain also? Oh my god, yeah, you can't really see. God, that's so sad. I just, it just struck me, I was seeing this person, I was like, oh, that's an elf, I've got long ears. And I was like, why have I never noticed Genus's long ears? Because he wears his hair long. This is the Elemental Research Laboratory. Research on Summon Spirits and Mana takes place in the basement. Does it now? Am I permitted down there at the moment? You didn't explicitly forbid me, so I guess it's fine. Whoa. Would I be interrupting any experiments to walk on this funny tile? Hmm. Since we stopped using man-made Summon Spirit Corrine as an experimental subject, our Summon Spirit research has stagnated. And after Corrine, we failed repeatedly in creating any other artificial ones. Hmm, what to do? Man-made Summon Spirit? Sheena never told us that. So it's a robot? Thanks to Sheena and Corrine, our research left forward, but now that they're gone, we've come to a complete standstill. Oh, that's a shame. You could give us a Korean, and we could try experimenting with that. No, I guess that would be a lot of resources and money spent on some travelers who would probably die or break it in the next room. The power produced by Summon Spirits should be essentially the same as Mana. Then even if Mana were to be lost from the world, if we were to use the power of the Summon Spirits, we might be able to preserve the world. That's an extreme breakthrough! That would just solve all the problems of the t dual world scenario. And you're researching it in this one tiny room? Why do you guys not have all the funding? And though your research is incredible, I couldn't help but notice there are no Wonder Chef recipes in here. Whatever, I'm glad I stopped by there. That's interesting to note. I bet that'll be coming to play later. Uh, they'll probably ask us to go there again anyways. Uh, because right now, what we probably ought to do is head up to the castle. Or there's a bit of other stuff in, the, in this main courtyard, isn't there? Wow. <laughs> I assume that noise just means they're laughing with glee. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Dunk. Hey, watch it. Watch where you're going. Never. Now, now, settle down, my darling honeys. Hi there, my little cool beauty. Are you hurt? Um. <laughs> do I look yeah. hurt? Master Zelos himself has deigned to speak to this girl, and yet look how she acts! It's completely straight-faced. <laughs> it's not even festival time, and yet she's dressed up in an angel costume. How stupid are you? Can you believe the nerve of this hag? You're lucky she doesn't know what those words mean right now. What did you say? Genus, let it go. She's obviously never looked in a mirror. <laughs> what did you say? You're all behaving like children. He is, but I really appreciated it. <laughs> now, now, settle down. Are you upset, my little angel? <laughs> Zelos, nice to meet your name. You know, I bet you're as cute as a button when you smile. Too bad I'm incapable currently, but it's true, I am. Ah! Whoa. Ah! Master Zelos! Oh, she like launched him, I see. Whoa! I thought he just like uh -huh. ran into her and then that jumped. That was a surprise. You sure are strong, my little angel. You certainly startled me. Yeah, I've been I've been equipping the strong like X gem. <laughs> well, who are you? No offense, <laughs> but I'm not interested in talking to guys. Oh, I thought he was just gonna be like, I can't believe you don't know me. I'm out of here. <laughs> I hate this guy already. <laughs> Ooh, what's your name, beautiful? It's the none of your damn business. Is my is it's my first name and last name. You can figure out which ones are which. Give me your right about name, name. I'll give you mine. Hey, you copied more. I was just about to say that never works for him. Mm, now that I've heard someone else say it, it sounds kind of arrogant. <laughs> oh, my. you only you figured that me? out now. Well, well, I guess I still have a ways to go. <laughs> Master Zelos, let's go. Oh yes, yes, of course. Well then, I'll see you again, my lovely lady, my cute little angel, and uh, 
you other people. Yeah, sure. I'll see you around, mister. <laughs> I don't know what makes you think we'll see each other again. What's that all but about? What on earth? Yes. He was grinning like an idiot the entire time. What's wrong with that guy? <laughs> I don't know why, but Genus being so pissed off at him like gives me absolute life. He had an X sphere on him. Yeah, around his neck. Was that just me? Or... That was what, what I that was, right? No way. So that's how he reacted so fast. To, Just to, to, to Colette backhanding him, you mean? <laughs> yeah, that certainly wasn't what I expected. Kids, don't be like that guy when you grow up. Oh, it's an angel! Are you already preparing for the festival? But no one else is wearing angel costumes yet. Well, I just like to get a head start on it. You know how it is. I came with Grandma. I actually wanted to go to the Coliseum. And yet? <laughs> she said, just spin around in the... In the <laughs> Park Plaza for a bit. We're not watching blood sports. I brought my grandson on a walk with me. My greatest joy is my grandson's smile. That's so sweet! Zelos could learn a thing or two from a wholesome grandmother like you. Where in the balls was he off to anyway? Actually, scratch that. I don't want to know. Oh my, you're already dressed as an angel. Getting a little ahead of ourselves, are we? The festival is still on for a while yet, you know. It's no harm in practicing. Seeing how it feels in the weather, I might need to make some adjustments. Or, sorry, the Colette response would be... <laughs> death stare. Oh, this has got to be the Coliseum, then. There's a nurse right outside. Are you one of the nurses who comes to help me when I use my spell? I'm in charge of first aid. I can even revive the dead with my bandages. You what? I will completely devote myself to serving you. But gentlemen with cosplay fetishes are not welcome. Uh, don't worry. That's not why I'm here. This is the Mel Tokyo Coliseum. Warriors enter the stage for fame to test their skills and various other reasons. The best part- I hope that wasn't a reference to what the other- the maid- the nurse was just talking about. The best part about the Coliseum is that there are solo fights as well as group fights, and beginners as well as experts. You're free to choose whichever format and level of difficulty suits you best. That is great. I don't know how much of that will do, but I bet there are some sick rewards for it, like legendary weapons and junk. I've never lost the first match in the Coliseum. I'm weak against bosses, but I'm extraordinarily strong against regular enemies. Do you want to join our party? <laughs> We just lost a member, went back to get chewed out by their boss. And those who possess fighting skills feel the urge to test them. However, lack of knowledge is a dangerous thing. Especially when it comes to testing. <gasps> Sword and spear! Weapon shop Axios. Customization shop Prusios. I have no money, but I should go <laughs> look at the weapon shop anyway. If you go to the Coliseum, how about purchasing a new weapon? What are you there? Spokesperson? Offense is the best defense. Defense is also a decent defense. Whoa! Gosh, yeah, you guys heard there's no cosplay fetishes allowed around here, right? I wonder how they can stay in business when not all that many people need weapons. Although I do recognize that they have a good location here in front of the Coliseum. Yeah, I was thinking that's gotta be enough, I mean, just for travelers in. There's a lucky cat in the corner there that looks out of place. If this isn't a Wonder Chef, I'm gonna cry. Yes! I am the mysterious one- the gourmet, the Wonder Chef! I shall teach you the recipe for steak! Tenderizing it by hand brings out the taste! Right, right. Learned how to make steak. <laughs> Sorry, I just needed a vocalization to accompany that hand gesture. Steak requires two ingredients, some type of meat, and onion! Oh, just any type of meat? Brilliant. I don't know why you need onion for it. Thank you. But that'll give us a, a use for a lot of our uh, meat. Farewell! Which we haven't been able to really get a good use out of. And how does that uh, go with... Oh, that's a good looking steak. A classic comfort food dish. Don't be shy on the gravy. Cures paralysis for the party. Oh, nice. So you wouldn't necessarily want to use it all the time, although I kind of do want to get our proficiency with it up. <laughs> steak cures paralysis. How is everyone's rank with it? Colette does decently well. How do we... What I gotta know is, how, how do we ask Colette in her current state, her, like, catatonic... Brrr, to make steak. How do we even get that across to her? Oh, Lloyd really likes this. Whatever, let's start with Rain. She adds lemon to the steak. Most interesting. We just ate. Never mind. We'll make some steak later. I guess it doesn't do any health at all? I'm just not satisfied with the weapons they issue us. I'm sure I won't really fight anyone, but still, better safe than sorry. The weapons the guard issues? You're gonna buy them? <laughs> Your own weapons? Customization shop. Is there any sword we can... Oh, Ogre Sword. There are two recipes for it. No black silver, but I have this stuff here if I had an Asafune. Which I don't! Could I buy that? Ray Thrust! Interesting. Resembles the Earth Thrust spell. Ray Thrust is an actual spell I have- or a mission- uh, uh, <laughs> Skill I have also. Ruby Wand. Oh, we could have bought that from somewhere, couldn't we? Stinger Ring is what I have equipped, is it not? Yes. So if I equipped some- Oh, wait. Does Rain also have a Ruby Rod? No. <laughs> Sorry, I got the hiccups. And shields, none of us use them at the moment. Make a new helmet, but we've already got that one. Um, a Druid Cloak. Oh, you've already got the Mage Cloak on, haven't you? Yes, let's make it! Finally, this carrying all this junk around is paying off. 
That I want. A cloak made only for high-ranking wizards. And now me! And the lapis bracelet would be nice if I had the materials. Yo, this is a weapon shop, Axios. Cool, what kind of stuff- Oh, we can just buy an ogre sword? Then why the balls would I make one? And this? Wait, we can buy all the stuff. This would be for Sheena. Francesca, an iron axe that's easy to handle. <laughs> we haven't met the person who uses those yet. Well, look at the attack power! Oh. I will just say about the person who uses the axe is that I, I never got a, I never really played as them in the second one either. Just because whenever I got them in my party, I had other people in my party I wanted to play. But I always kind of wanted to try them because, I mean, I've never played a Tales game where you use a character with an axe. Closest thing is there's a one character I played who's got like a pretty big greatsword in, in Zillia. But I've basically never played a, a character in any of the games that have a, has a massive two-hander, so it would be probably pretty fun. So this one is just superior in every way, and it's very slight amounts of money more. I guess the idea idea is we would buy one of these maybe for a re recipe later. If we had black silver, we could make one here, but 3,000 gold isn't that much. Yeah, we made the druid cloak. I'm happy with that because we don't can't buy one of those here. So I say we buy, uh, I'll buy a nibble rape here as well. Wait, we don't, ha we don't have one of those, right? No, it does tells us there. I'll buy that, 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 this, and well, we don't have enough for that anyway. We'll buy this for now. I'm buying the, the nibble rape here just so that in case we ever find a recipe that wants that. Ogre sword. The slash is going up tremendously from this and I'll get this ray thrust. And do I lose any cool stats from this? Nah. And this one looks cooler anyway. Ah, cool! Great, thanks for that! I'm a bit broke now, but we'll handle it. I hope they- actually, this is a city of, uh, of a pretty substantial wealth in some places, so I hope they don't want me to pay for something soon, story-related. Were we ever over on this side? I'm not sure we were. Oh. Trupalos, what is this? Armor shop! Oh, fucker! Probably should have done that first. Ah, now this would all be good. Oh, we could have bought one, shoot. Well, I'm glad we made that, actually. A straw hat. Striped ribbon and gold circlet are both down on what uh, Rain and Colette currently have equipped. Interesting. And Amiga shield. Cool. Ooh, claw gauntlet. Heavy boots. Wow. I want all this stuff, but I have not enough money for, for really any of it. I will save up in this, the surrounding area. We'll be able to buy stuff soon. Or maybe I'll spend a few off-camera time, a bit of off-camera time, going and getting some beast fangs and junk. I think I, I, I'm feeling justified in tr uh, tr selling trading for all those beast fangs earlier as I did though. Don't enter! I think is what that says. Looks scrawled in it by hand though. Wow, this place just keeps going. How big is this dang city? Sorry, my hiccups are just not going away. <laughs> Your travelers, I presume? This isn't a place for commoners. If you came here by accident, then leave. Now. <laughs> there are those who view the gap between the rich and poor as a problem. However, we have we have made all manner of contributions to the kingdom in order to become part of the aristocracy. The hard work paid off and allowed us our current status. We can't have people forgetting that. I think maybe you're not checking your privilege there, rich kid. I'm a knight. Maintaining order in the city is one of our duties. Hmm? We get lost? Ah, that remains to be seen. Whoa! Someone's got a house. Hi! It's not time for the dinner party yet. If... You say so. Sure, are a lot of houses. Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? <sighs> I'm tired of this game too. Excuse me, do you know any new games to play? Uh, Tales of Symphonia, Tales of Crestoria, Tales of Z Ilia, Tales of the Abyss. I don't know, just listing a few. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it's nobler, uh, hmm. That's kind of an overused line. Since the king fell ill, they have stopped holding dinner parties. Every day is dreadfully boring, and I don't know what to do. You there, put on some kind of performance for me. Bing! A bing! A do 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 Bow! How was that? Fine. My genius will be appreciated elsewhere, I'm sure. You've got a face on you! I'm having a terrible problem. I have too much money. I just don't know what to do. How can I get rid of all this money? No matter how much I use, more money keeps flowing in. I have an idea. If you just left it in a sack over here, wrote to the armor shop from Genus on it, for no reason in particular, I bet it would go away. Good boy. Good girl. Good small animal. Oh, I can enter this person's abode. Whoa. Do you guys have a wonder chef in this place? Are you that rich? I'm still constantly scolded by my teacher, but I won't give up. That's horrible. I'm sorry. Why? Oh, are you a guest? Normally I'd play you a song, but unfortunately the piano needs to be tuned. Uh, it's all right. I'm not really looking for that kind of entertainment right now. My father is a famous musician. I'm working hard so that I can become a great musician too. Which one is the teacher who is berating this poor child? And why? Not sure. I like the big city. That's quite a statue over there. It's a little blocky. My kitten is missing. Kitty, here, kitty, kitty. 
I will do what I can to find a missing cat if I see one. But there are only dogs in this town as far as I know. I think you might be mistaking it for another kind of animal. I wasn't in here, was I? Why, hello! Let me just step around this carpet bit because I'm sure you'll make me pay for it if I don't. May I help you, Sebastian? You may. I'm looking for any kind of handouts, please. <laughs> I'm very broke. I bet Genius would be good at chess. He's probably looking at that going like, Amateurs! <laughs> Didn't even use the King Side Castle maneuver. What is this? Is this also a Wonder Chef? This one actually has a chef's hat on it. <laughs> How often does that happen? Ah. I'm the Mysterious Gourmet, the Wonder Chef! I shall teach you the recipe for the essential party food, the fruit cocktail! Ah. Will you now? What does it entail? Fruit cocktail requires any two fruits you like. Oh, dope. That'll also be a... Those, those two recipes we've gotten are both very handy for clearing up the old inventory. Oh, nice. Okay, so the additional things are just fruit. I was worried Rain was gonna be like, oh, let's add cheese. Oh, wow, look at that. A assortment of sweet, succulent fruit uh, in light syrup restores a small amount of TP. That'll be pretty helpful. I mean, most meals do TP anyway, don't they? So I guess the fact that it specifically highlights it probably means it does a little more than most of them. Now I know why I didn't find any Wonder Chef recipes in Silveront. Goddamn, El Tokyo has been hoarding them all. But it doesn't look like there's anything else much of interest to pinch around here. Very well, looks like we'll be heading on. Oh, I remember this, this, now that looking at the back window there, I remember this building from the second game. <laughs> Gosh, I think that was more or less all we had to explore around here. Sorry, just at a snail's pace are we advancing through this area, but, oh, what the hell? Where is this? Were we here before? Yeah, we were. We just never talked to these people. This area is called the Upper Class Quarter. It's a place where the rich live. Are you sure you're in the right place? Maybe. This gap between rich and poor is one of the characteristics of Mount Tokyo. That's not a good thing, Scoob! Dude, that's not a good thing, Scoob. I have to tend the garden. If you don't get good care of the flowers, they won't bloom nicely. This rose garden is one of the pride and joys of Mount Tokyo. Man, I'm glad that you seem like a much more... <clears throat> inspirited soul than the rest of them. The rest of them are all like, oh, I'm too rich and bored for life right now. And you're like, I'm just enjoying c cultivating the life here and making things pretty. E this is the Martel Cathedral. It's the largest temple in Tateola. Is that right? I'll be the judge of that. Yeah, it's pretty big. This is the Church of Martel. Anyone may worship freely. Is that right? Even if I'm not worshiping Martel, I can just worship whatever I want. Our mother who art in heaven. Chanting the words of prayer is not enough. To pray is to open up your heart to the goddess and confess the truth within. Yeah, I'm not sure the goddess needs to know about all that. This area is off limits to unauthorized personnel. Please leave at once. I can do that. Welcome to the Church of Martel. May Martel watch over and protect you. So I'm getting, I'm getting the vibes of this city. We have gotten the vibes. I think it's time to stop the vibe check and proceed <laughs> onto the castle. Let me in! Oh, they're actually going to let me in. Who are you people? We want to meet the king. His majesty is ill and not granting audiences. Now that you know, please leave. No, we have to see him. I'm sure you do, but until his majesty is well, there's nothing that can be done. The Church of Martel is preparing a prayer ritual to pray for his majesty's recovery. So try asking the priest in the church to ensure that he gets well as soon as possible. Or we can go heal him. Your shift's up. All right. Guess we'll have to go to the church. Why did they trade shifts just now? I wonder what that's about. This is Castle Tateola. It sure is. This is Castle de Theola. Wow, you're such full of helpful, much guidance, real tour. -er -er. Please fix the king so we can talk to the- Whoa, you weren't there before. Do you know the ways of the medicine? Slash, can you give him a Tylenol or something? I really you need to get in there. Welcome to the Church of Martel. Ugh. Oh, Perseia, the prayers are to take place in the royal chambers. Please carry the sacred wood to the castle. Yes. Oh, so you're just mad you just support the poor kid to- <laughs> She's cute. <laughs> the poor, that poor kid, he just brought her all the way in here with like an entire log and then asked her to take it somewhere else upstairs. That girl he called Persea has an ex-fair too. Is that a standard custom over here? Yeah, she, she's really cute. You're not listening at all, are you? <laughs> you, may, you mentioned prayers. Are you praying for the recovery of the king? Yes. The Chosen and the Pope will pray before his majesty and receive the assistance of Martel. Ah, you said the prayers will take place in the royal chambers, right? Yes, that's correct, but... Okay, thanks! <laughs> Guys, I figured out how we're gonna go see the king! What? What are we gonna do? We'll pretend to carry the sacred wood and sneak in. I thought you'd say that, but how are we going to get sacred wood? Let's have that Persea help us. What? Really? I agree. That's a good plan. Let's do that! Well, alright. 
Let's try talking to her, at least. Then let's catch up to her. Yes, let us indeed! <laughs> Screeching down the... <laughs> the... The... <laughs> the hall. Why is the music well, stopped? Oh. I'll let you get to work. The sacred wood goes to Altamira. You can do it after your current job is done. You sound mysteriously like my father! Understood. The plan is right on schedule. I must report to Lord Rodile. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Hey! Hang on a sec. Um, Perseia! <laughs> this kid is jacked. Could we have a moment of your time? I'm Lloyd. This is Colette and Rain <laughs> and... I I'm Genus! Hey, Genus. Why are you all flushed? <laughs> Lloyd, just the absolute worst wingman in the world. Would you let us help you carry the sacred wood? But wait! I guess that's a nope! <laughs> Didn't even let- I mean, you're probably you're doing well enough by yourself, but just the stairs, that would be awful. I'm sorry, I know this is a bit strange, but please hear us out. The truth is, we have a letter we wish to give to the king. You'd Our be doing us a big solid here. On it, but we have a problem because the king is sick and refuses to see anyone. Well, I figure she knows that bit, Lloyd. She lives here. Or I so I assume. It would really help us out if we could carry it for you. Uh, are you listening? Understood. Oh, okay. Um, Persea, please carry that. Sure, we'll oh, do that. Okay. Leave it to us. I have I, I'm not sure how the four of us will be able to manage it, actually. We'll try anyway. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. God, this thing is heavy. <laughs> Sorry, Persea. We tried. I've lost all confidence as a man. Me too. Anyway, you let's follow her. <laughs> She's obviously like ridiculously strong. That should be a moment of a, a, a bout of pride for her, not a bout of shame for you. Uh, hopefully, she lets us pretend we're helping, <laughs> so we can get in there. Sorry to keep you waiting. Wait, is it not just Persea today? Who are you people? Oh, thank God the, the last shift was over. So they they would uh, uh, otherwise they would have known we're trying to pull a trick here. We are helping her deliver the sacred wood to use in the prayer ceremony. She sprained her leg. <laughs> Today is special. All right, you may pass. Yes, no permits needed or nothing. Hoodwink fully winked. Excuse us. Coming through. How lucky are we? <laughs> are lumberjacks all women and children these days? Hmm. But that Brisea who hardly ever talks said so. Must be fine. Yeah. Yeah, she seems trustworthy, doesn't she? <laughs> Look at her dead little eyes. Who could who could <laughs> see lies in there? Well, we managed to make it inside. What do you do with the sacred wood? Leave it here. Okay. Now let's go look for the royal chambers. What will you do, Persea? Yeah, sending her back alone would be suspicious. Let's have her come with us. Man, we're really just asking a lot of this poor child. You're gonna come with us now. <laughs> it would mean a lot to us if you could, so we wouldn't die. Would you do that for us? Persea joined the party. Wicked! And you will see now that she wields axes. Oh, I'm glad I didn't buy that other axe. That's what she's already got equipped. Oh, she uses guards just like, uh, what's, what's his dude? Or what's her dude? Colette. And this is cool also because, I've been waiting the whole playthrough to show this, I've got little Genus and Persea figurines. See them here? Oh, sorry, I'm not putting them in the camera very well. I, the, the, the axe falls out really easily, so I'm trying to like not jostle it. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Now you can see it. And then there's Genus. Yeah! A family member of mine was traveling to Japan and, and found a, a store with all kinds of stuff like this. And so they bought me the, the Genus and Persea ones because they know they know that I'm a fan anyway. And they know that I find romantic subplots like that adorable. So they got me the pair of them. This is actually cool. I guess we can load you up with a bit of gear, uh, that, any of our leftover junk. Speaking of, uh, there was a striped ribbon in the, in the store that was worse than the ones we have here, now that we can afford it. So the tartan ribbon is just better than that. Cool. Good to know. Tech 534. Look at that. Uh, just give you a bunch of extra junk here, I guess. Oh, actually, we got a ton of leather boots. Oh, God. Whoops. Not that. They have more defense, and I feel, I feel like you're the defensey type. Wow. So cool. Oh, well, you almost reaches her strength. Interesting. It's not what I expected. You got two pairs of leather boots now. Do you feel safe? Taciturn girl. Her eyes do not reflect anything. She shows no emotions. What has made her this way? I don't know. Per se, a combatier. We didn't get any new uh, of these, did we? That I would want? 
Nah. Oh, Magic Cycle. I never looked what this was. The title given to he who used, used every kind of elemental attack in one battle. Oh, did I? I guess that was during the fight with uh, Kratos and all that, didn't it? Wasn't it? I kind of like HP and accuracy for you. Ah, uh, nah. Let's do the intelligence. It's the only one that gives you intelligence as a thing. Uh, I kind of want to put Persea in the party right now, to be honest. I'm going to swap her in for Genus. Actually, I guess it makes sense to both have them both because I bet they have some kind of uh, end ending dialogues together, end of battle dialogues. So I'm going to put them both in, in there. Uh... I wonder what she runs like, because everyone else runs... Ah, oh, she runs normal! She's like... The only one who has a normal looking run. Oh, well, Genesis looks a little normal, but his arms swing really wide, and it looks kind of strange. And and Ar Lloyd's arms look floppy when he runs. Okay, no, Rain looks normal. And Colette's arms are like stiff and weird when she runs. Persea and Rain are the only ones who run like normal people. <laughs> That's kind of dope, actually. I've always liked... I thought she had as a cool, like, outfit. Like, the, the metal gauntlets, and then like the... It's sort of like an armored dress, and then there's a satchel in the back. Anyways, sorry, we better go investig investigate this, hadn't we? We probably aren't allowed out now that we are in, so I get better find a save point and quick. Man, there are a lot of rooms here. Persea, do you happen to know where where to go? <laughs> Take good care of your weapons and armor in case of unexpected situations. Don't hurt yourself by handling them incorrectly. I won't- I will try not to drop my sword into my own head. I better get to sleep for work tomorrow. I think the next rotation puts me on the morning shift. But good idea to know that for sure. These are soldiers' quarters. Are you sure you're in the right place? Lately, the Papal Knights have taken the limelight from us, the Imperial Guard. It doesn't have any effect on our ability to protect the castle, but I just don't like it. I like how keep everyone keeps asking us if we're in the right place. Because <laughs> we definitely, obviously aren't. It's already due to cause protect the castle. Don't cause any trouble in here. If you do, we'll show no mercy. Southwing, all clear. Why are you telling me that? <laughs> I cannot allow anyone to enter here without the Poe's permission. Stop pestering me. Do you want to be taken away? Saying hello? Aren't guards supposed to naturally be friendly? The dungeon lies beyond here. If you do not have business here, we need you to refrain from entering. Not many people have business with criminals. But you're not exactly standing in front of it, so it's cool if I... <laughs> look for more recipes down here? Who knows what I'll find. Well, there don't appear to be any criminals in who want to speak to me, so that's a shame. You were right, I didn't have any business in there. <laughs> Sorry for doubting you. What's on this balcony here? Nothing, just for the architecture. This place is nice, I can't lie. Um, It's also extraneous as all hell. Imagine the poor people who have to clean this. This is the Crimson Chamber. It's a guest room for noble visitors. Please do not commit any improprieties. I guess that means I'm not really the, the, the target audience for this room. But I'll have a look anyway. Whoa! Some kind of guest room. Oh, a guest bedroom. I see. Not a single wrinkle or stain is permitted on the bed sheets. Well, it is the guest room for nobles, so I suppose it's to be expected. They're gonna wrinkle it when they lie on it anyway. My humblest apologies, but I must request that you please not enter with dirty shoes. You will soil the- Ah, sorry. You will soil the floor that I just cleaned. Oh no, there's mud everywhere. I'm going to have to clean all over again. Sorry about that one. Have not cleaned these clothes in several weeks. And I also flew through a dimensional border with them, so that's gotta put some kind of residue, I expect. I'm on guard duty, so don't talk to me. Insolent individuals sometimes sneak in, posing as servants. W would never do that. Well, the Crimson Room's great. Uh, but I will not be staying. Thanks for the offer. I'm surprised that people like you were able to enter the castle. Are you travelers from one of the outlying lands desiring an audience with the king? The king is currently under medical care in his chambers. Yes, I know! I'm bringing the sacred wood and or something. God, this place is massive! Whoa! Just look at it all. These look like the king's chambers, don't they? Or the the audience room, anyway. Is there anything up here? Oh, God, there's another... Hi! Is this the king's room? These are the royal chambers. Are they now? I might just head around the other side, then, and have a look around the rest of this... Could be all kinds of junk we could take. I am patrolling the inside of the castle. Diligent security will stave off those who would seek to infiltrate the castle. We are proud to uphold the security of the royal castle of Tetheala. As well you should be, but I bet even if you sold one of your swords, that would give enough people in the slums enough money, money to feed their family for a week. This is the castle archive. There are many valuable items, so those who have permission may not enter. Unlike the dungeons, we don't care who goes in there. I told you you can't go in. If you want to enter, go get permission. Sure, I will, just after I save. Oh, I've never seen you before. Will you chat with me for a while? Done! Ah, uh, this brings back to the, the central hall, does it? Cool, we've been thereabouts, but we haven't been down the, the main floor of this area. But we won't until next time, of course, because, regrettably, we're all out of time just then. Well, we've got a new crew member, look at that! 2,402 health! She's uh, not, not only a, a strong attacker, but a good tank as well, it appears. What kind of skills has she got? Oh, destruction, punishment, infliction, devastation. Do, oh, look at all this stuff! Strike the earth with a blast, and with the earth and blast rocks toward the meaning. Oh, this is gonna be awesome to have you here. Oh, she's also got beast. Blow the enemy away by tearing the sky with a mighty swing. Uh, defend against most attacks and magic. Okay, cool. So I'm thinking, 
I don't think we want Beast on to combo into. All right, I'm gonna put the, uh, just swing with a powerful swing is neutral. Up is the one that swings the moon in the air. Down is Beast, and then right and left is the throwing rocks. I want to try and learn a bit of Persea as we go on, just because she's so freaking cool. <laughs> Look at her! And it's not just because she's got pink hair. Although that doesn't hurt her cool levels of coolness. I don't just pick every character that has pink hair, okay? Well, we'll have a bit more to explore in the castle here, it seems, next time. And then we'll try and get an audience, and then presumably that will turn it out poorly for us in one way or another. Uh, I guess maybe the worst thing could be the, they'll be like, ask us to go get more sacred wood from somewhere. And then I suppose that'll send us on some kind of whirlwind fetch quest. But that might get us some favor and renown in here. Which couldn't be so- wood night might not be so bad, so... It might be great, who knows? Heck yeah, we met Persea. I wasn't expecting us to meet her in such a sudden and blunt way like this, but like we just bumped into her in the hallway. <laughs> I love Genus was just like instantly overwhelmed. Not some not a not a state you see him in often. <laughs> well, two of our, our current party are like very quiet and or non-responsive figures. This is not a very talkative bunch we've got here. Well, I guess Lloyd and Gina's probably doing a talking for for all of them. <laughs> anyway, that's all for now. I will be seeing you again in Tales of Symphonia a real soon, I sure hope. So with that, I thank you very, very much for coming around to this episode. Hopefully we'll get into some hijinks in the next episode that won't go too bad. She's got more health all of a sudden. Oh, did we equip her with something that gave her that? I was like, how did she get hurt? Huh. Anyway, sorry. Got distracted. Thank you very much for coming around. Hopefully I'll be seeing her around. Animal's gonna be out here now. Peace! Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> the look thing wants to tell us. I'd like to read it myself. That's what we're trying to figure out. Oh, you're asking that.